all friends, family, Jabez, come on in. We are just having fun. We're just having fun on today. I look a tad orange. There we go. <laughs> That's a little better. So, hello. Welcome. Come on in. I just really, really quick want to um, share some happiness with all of you. <laughs> so, nothing, nothing too major going on. I just finished filming two videos. <laughs> I'm so chic and Maya. Hi. If you guys are coming over from Instagram, Nika, what's up? J Chronicles, how you doing? Shy. Wait, why are you pissed? <laughs> Is this about the quad? Hi, Kathy. High Frequency Beauty. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm already beat because I did two videos already. But <laughs> hi, Ruby. I just wanted to share with you guys. I um, overnighted my hourglass order, so I already filmed my video for you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and, oh, that it's not on her website? Hi, Chitty, Kitty Chan, love. So I overnighted my um, hourglass. They did the damn thing. It came all the way from Los Angeles, and it got here this morning around 1030. <laughs> so money well spent on that overnight shipping. <laughs> so um yeah i can show you guys what that looks like really quick oh did it sell out dang i wasn't even it wasn't on my radar because i wasn't gonna get it <laughs> so, i'm so sorry um but yeah so my box got here and i'm like oh that's my box you guys you know i heard the doorbell but i was um i was getting nala ready to go out and when my husband came in with two boxes I'm so sorry, you guys. That sucks. See, when it's... Mm, they, they'll restock. I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. For it to sell out so fast, they'll definitely restock. But yeah, um, he came in the room with two boxes. And I was like, what is this? And then I read it and it said Chantakai. And I was like, oh! <laughs> I opened it up and it was just the most beautiful packaging like look at this look at how cute this is hi Don. like this is so cute these are little pins these are little like embroidered pins on this really pretty um burlap sack and then i opened up the sack i've already taken everything out because <laughs> i was so excited but i got this an another cute little pin these are so adorable and a letter from Shantakai Social, so I wanted to read you read that to you all. Hello, Jacqueline. It says, Dear Victoria, these limited edition Safari Chic Collection lip veils <laughs> were created to support Space for Giants and their vital work protecting African elephants and the landscapes they depend on. Thank you. Thanks, Jay Chronicles. Um, pair them with the luminescent eye shades. So they sent me some more luminescent eye shades to create an easy look for fall and tag us as Shantakai and hashtag love Shantakai from the Shantakai social team. So they sent me two more luminescent eye shades. Hi, Candy. One of which is giraffe, which I already have. So guess where this is going? So one of my J baits. So we're putting. I'm putting together a giveaway for you guys. Um, I I want to say since I have like 3,500, I think that a reasonable day to do a giveaway will be 5,000. If we reach the 5,000 mark, or when we reach the 5,000 mark, I'll be doing a giveaway, and it's just gonna be um, some things that I like really, really love, and I know that you guys enjoy, and then some of it is also going to be, you know, um, as I get PR, I can share the love, you know. So the other thing that I will be sharing with you guys is the Cheek Gelée uh, that they also sent me. And this is in the shade Lively. Thank you. You will see what's on my eyes a little later today. Thank you, Dawn. And this is in the shade Lively. Now, please forgive me. I did swatch it just to make sure that it wasn't going to work for me. Um, so I put a little on the back of my hand. Uh, but 
other than that, like as you can see you can tell what the color is like from right here it's kind of a corally pink and it just didn't show up on me it has some shimmer in there but it didn't show up on me so hopefully somebody can wear it uh, I don't want it to go to waste it's a really nice product thanks Taja what's up girl you guys this is my long time like this is the that's my ride or die right there thank you candy Taja is my friend since the sixth grade so these two items will be going in a giveaway and then they also sent me lion yay weren't we talking about this in the other video my other Shantikai video where I was like I love these luminescent eye shades and I wanted to get lion and uh, I want I want all of them to be honest <laughs> but I want to show you guys what this looks like I'm wearing it on my inner corner today and there's lion gorgina so now I have giraffe rhinoceros pangolin and lion also to try out they sent me the luster glide silk infused eyeliner in the shade earth which i am wearing on my waterline <clears throat> i was <laughs> i was a little, a little nervous but i'm glad that they sent me the lips because i really wanted the lips like i wanted all three but yeah so this is the shade earth and i'm actually wearing this both on my waterline and on my lips so that's what's that's what's uh lining my lips today <laughs> you still talk about the supreme so here's what the color looks like isn't that pretty it's like a very nice cool tone brown i think this will look really nice with um the glam palette as well and the piece de resistance the lip cheeks i'm sorry the lip veils right yeah lip veils from the new safari collection fall 2020 here we are i can't wait to swatch these you're ready okay first up is plumeria which just has to be one of the prettiest pinks that i have ever seen it's gorgeous magnetic packaging just like the honey the hummingbird collection metallic um magnetic packaging and these are <clears throat> that really great hybrid of a balm meets a lipstick so that's plumeria i really love colors like this oh okay and then next up is, actually, I'm going to do acai first. Love this so much. Okay, so this is acai. I love this color. Like, I love all of these colors. I seriously can't wait to wear every last one of these. So there we are. And the last but not least get ready for your new nude get ready for the one that you're gonna keep in your purse tamarind obsession pure obsession i'm getting in close on this one it is such a pretty warm brown these are gorgeous these are really beautifully curated Mm hmm exactly these are so beautifully curated um these have joined their sister hummingbird <laughs> they do they feel silky and they nourish the lips like they actually nourish the lips so you know you don't even realize and it doesn't come like it, it stains your lips a little bit so you are left with some color even after the shine wears off um, it's very moisturizing. This is the kind of thing that you can put on. Um, hey, how are you? Yeah, lip veil is bomb. Um, let me show you what lip chic looks like because the hummingbird uh, collection lips are the lip chic and they're very similar to the lip veils. 
This one is um, Passion Flower. It's such an overcast day. My lighting is a little off, so forgive me. Look at that. I think it imparts a little more pigmentation than the um, Lip Veil. But they're both, both, you know, beautifully pigmented. That's Passion Flower. It's very, it's a corally red. Nice and shiny, just like very similar formula. It just has a little more pigmentation, I think. The girls always say, do you really like Chanticut? Do you, do you really though? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> I even used my rose water on top of um, my setting spray today. Thank you so much, Maria. All right, friend. Um, thank you for coming through on your lunch break, and I'll see you later, or talk to you later, rather. So, yeah, I did a review for you guys on um, just a kind of a, a really quick review on the NARS Soft Matte Foundation and then the um, Holiday 2020 collection from. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, my screen froze. My um, my cousin called, um, and I couldn't just like dip on her because she's not feeling well. So I had to I had to take a, a second for her. I'm sorry. But yes, so we were we were doing swatches, and then I was gonna tell you guys. Oh yes, so I wanted to show you real quick the um, quad. And thank you, Jay Chronicles, for hitting me up on uh, IG to let me know I was frozen. <laughs> but here's the um, here's the quad, you guys, the mini um, edit. And here are the colors. And I'm going to um, just hit the light so you can see what it looks like in natural light. There you go. <laughs> so these are the colors, and I'm going to swatch them for you, too, real quick. This is the one we're most interested in, right? I mean, it's on my cheeks right now. Everything's on my cheeks. So here's the blush. I'm gonna come down here with it. It does kind of like melt in. I used three layers, so let me do that so I can show you what it looks like on me. It's a very soft formula. It does like blend into, let me hit the light again. Blends into the skin. It's pretty. It's very pretty. And then, you know, once you spray your face, all that, blah, 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 it looks really nice. I wouldn't call this, you know, this ain't no Becca blush, right? <laughs> the name of the blush is Mood Flush. Mood Flush. So there we are. Mood Flush. And then this bad boy is the strobe. Oof. This is the strobe. I love this. Yeah. And like I said, I have three, like, I really like how this looks in person. Like when I look at my cheeks, it's like, it's almost like I'm actually blushing. Like it's coming from, from inside out. It doesn't look like I put blush on top. So that's something new for me. Um, Cause I, this is my first time getting any of the edits from any of the holiday collections. None of them appealed to me before. So seeing this and, and the, um, the undertone gives me like very much this here. It looks really beautiful on. So then you've got the bronzer and I'm sure this will bronze someone, but I'm gonna call this a highlight. It's just a softer highlight. And it is a bronze type of highlight, which looks really pretty again. See that's warming up even as we're sitting here. And then this other one, this is like a finishing powder, I believe. Hi, MJ. I'm swatching the uh, new holiday edit from Hourglass. Mm-hmm. You could. And then this is like a, a full, it's very, very slight luminescence to it. I actually use this down the center of my face as a very subtle highlight. Um, I put it on my forehead all like, you know, and it just gave me a very natural luminosity to my face. I wouldn't even call it a highlight. But the point is I can use all four of these comfortably so if you are you know looking to try this out I would I would definitely suggest you do so it's beautiful 
and you know hourglass is really known for those formulas that just look like your skin like they just blend in so pretty yes indeed crystal and welcome this one is good i'm wearing everything on my cheeks right now on and then like i said i use that um finishing powder down the center of my face so this is what you'll get uh, which is very on par for Hourglass. Hourglass doesn't give a lot of punch in their powder powder products for your face. It's very much like it's from within looking. It looks like your skin. It just looks seamless and airbrushed. So I feel like this is probably the best, you know, <laughs> this is the deepest we're going to get, y'all. Unless they come out with like something very much intended for their brown skin consumer yeah but i like it and i'm not mad at it i paid for the overnight shipping thank you very much crystal i paid for the overnight shipping and um i think i ordered at like 10 something on the east coast oh um i did want to say speaking of at night <laughs> thank you for saying that this is the um which one is this Got what this lip color is called at dawn this lip that i'm wearing with the shanta kai liner at dawn and you'll see the other one in the video the hourglass video because <laughs> i put on at dusk uh, for the video but here she is i got the lip duo and um the refill sitting up here but this is a this is a color this is a really pretty color and I've been sitting here eating a peach and, and <laughs> have not had to reapply. So I just wanted to jump on here and share in my happiness with y'all and let you know that I am also uh, sharing the love. Oh, super comfortable. Really comfortable. Very pretty. You know what? Initially, I was turned off by. Okay. Okay. That's good to know, Shy. So that top row in the six pan um is is isn't that what they had in that like illuminator uh release that they just had it was like three or four shades and they were all kind of like those high intensity highlights at least that's what it looked like to me and then you had um the baked uh or the marbled um face products like the bronzer and the blush and stuff I just was immediately not interested <laughs> in that six pan. I mean, the Nordy Hourglass. Um, no, I didn't. It's, it's out right now, right? Let me just jump on there. Um, Nordstrom. That, that's the one, the strobe. it's already in my no it isn't because I cleared my cache on my computer so I don't have like the one key recognition of the sites that I frequent anymore I'm just gonna hit up hourglass take a look hold up I read so yeah that's that's everything for me this is probably my <laughs> I'm such a goofball this is my favorite part of the Shantakai gift. <laughs> there you go, Crystal. That's exactly right. Mm. Cannot wait for the Sephora sale. Y'all, you know what else I can't wait for? <laughs> yes, guess where my cup was? <laughs> no, I didn't get the CT palette. My cup was in my daughter's um, toy shopping basket. When I tell you guys, she had to have climbed up somewhere when I wasn't looking because I had it out of reach. It was out of reach because I knew she was going to do something like that. I put it up here with my Q-tips and my perfumes and everything. That's where I put it initially. And then somehow this little girl climbed on this chair that I am sitting on, grabbed it and ran off with it to play with it. <laughs> to play with my menstrual cup. <laughs> oh my God. So then my husband finds it 
because I was so irritated. I'm like, I just used this thing and I just like cleaned it off. It was clean, but I wanted to sanitize it by boiling it. So I had it like sitting there while I finished cleaning up and then I was going to go do it. And by the time I went to go grab it, it was gone. Like it just disappeared. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. <laughs> so finally found it, was able to boil it. And now it is sitting in its, in its little pouch out of reach from her behind. So here's my little menstrual cup for, for later. <laughs> Man, like I, I can laugh about it now, but honestly, I was so irritated last night. I was like, goodness gracious, man. Such a little busy, busy body. No, mm -mm, not a one. Man, it only took one time. I am officially converted. Tampons who? Pads where? I don't know her. They better stop playing and give us 25% off this year. Like, for real. Why is this not popping up, right? Oh, thanks, still have happy. It was that good. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, that just sounds owie. <laughs> I did have one incident, because you know they tell you on the instructions when you insert it. Oh, okay, okay. Because there are two sizes for salt as well. There's the small and the regular. Um, they said like if you've had a child, then probably the regular is gonna work for you. Is it? Wow, that's that's a really high tax percentage. Ours is six. <laughs> she said CSI. Actually, Chris, I think that it can. I was very surprised at the amount of content. Let's put it that way. After 12 hours, because you can wear it for 12 hours. Basically, put it in in the morning, take it out when you get home. Because taking it out, I would imagine it to be not the move to take it out while you're out and about. Unless you're in a bathroom by yourself. Because you have to, you know, pull it out, empty it out, clean it out, and put it back in. So the fact that you can wear it for a 12-hour day, or at least eight hours, you know, like get yourself to work and home and then take it out when you get home. Um, and that beats the hell out of having to change your tampon three times or having to change your pad twice or whatever. <laughs> so when, when I went to insert mine, I folded it in a C shape, insert it and then release. And so, yeah. Chris, I, I definitely think you should try it. And if you're worried about it filling up too much, um, for me, my heaviest flow days are the second and third day. The, the most I got out of any day was half full. Because I think when we, w especially when we wear uh, pads, it looks worse than it is. Um, as far as like the amount. <laughs> I'm starting to enjoy it a little more since I got this whole, since, we, you know, this menstrual cup thing happened. Um, but if you've ever used a diaphragm or um, a, a Nuva ring, for example, you want to just, um, you, you can, you can do this. It's, it's that easy. Oh no, I got peach juice on my letter. <laughs> oh, <laughs> No, no, I didn't do anything different. Um, I used the NARS um, NARS Soft Matte Foundation. And I used my Hourglass Concealer. Like, pretty much everything I, I normally use. But I, yeah, I mean, I love it. Uh, I'll show you, what, you guys what it looks like. It's, it's perfectly clean. So, you know. Um, so they give you this pouch when you get your, um, when you get your, salt menstrual cup it's in the bottom of the um, package and then this is sitting on top um, this 
obviously I mean when you're when you have it in it goes like this <laughs> this bit um all like even this part here is actually meant these little ridges here they're meant for you to grip the uh, menstrual cup to get it out of you um there's little holes here on the side that are at an angle that help create the suction and also release the suction when you're taking it out and like i said um this is the most that i ever got on my heavy flow day which is the second day and I'm a regular flow. So I think somebody with a heavier flow obviously is gonna, probably gonna make it to the top here. Um, but because it's not coming out of you, you know, I I don't think that, um, yeah, I'm fine with the stem. I'm totally fine with it. I don't even notice it at all. Like after I've inserted it, um, I don't I don't feel it. It's so comfortable that it just kind of boops in place and I don't notice it at all. This is the regular size one. And then there's one that is smaller than this. Yes, you do. So I do the C shape. They give you a couple of ways to do it. I insert mine in the C shape, just like this. So it's the size of like a super tampon. And then it just Honestly, it just slides right up in there. You do it at an angle, just like you would insert a tampon, and then you release it while it's inside you. If there's any sort of divot, you can kind of like rotate your finger around to give it, you know, to release it, or it will honestly do it on its own. It might surprise you, because that's something that happened to me. I thought that I had it all together, and I went to get up, and it went boop, and I was like, oh, there it goes. <laughs> it didn't hurt. It just surprised me, because I didn't, you know, I didn't expect it. But yeah, it's it's silicone, of course, so it is hot. Um, it's very like clean. You just rinse it with hot water um, and wash your hands. Um, you know, just to keep everything balanced in there. Um, and then you just you know put it back in. <laughs> Once your cycle is over, you um, of course rinse it, but then you boil it. You boil it for about five minutes. Don't let it touch the bottom of the, of, <laughs> don't let it touch the bottom. Uh, use tongs, that's what I do. I, I use the tongs and I like lock the tongs in place and then I insert it in there for about five minutes. And again, the sizing, I chose regular because I have had a child. So, you know, my cervix has been through a little something. <laughs> so yeah. I do use it while sleeping. It is good for 12 hours. Once you insert it, 12 hours before you need to take it out. You could probably go a little longer than that if you have a light flow. You can keep it in all day, you know, from one day to another. The reason I chose salt is because, I mean, I'm pretty sure the other ones do to some degree, but salt will give a cup um, as you buy a cup. So they're, um, they work with uh, little girls in East Africa. Um, so that they can still go to school while they're on their period. Yeah, I really like that. And it is in the same, um, it, like it's it's in the median price range. I think it was around, I think uh, because I bought it from Target and I used my red card, um, I paid about 37 for it. And it lasts for 10 years according to like if you if you use it the way that I that it's recommended it can last you for 10 years and I mean imagine being a young girl you know you don't have to worry about uh going to the bathroom and feeling self-conscious about you know leaking or anything like that I think this is such a great thing you know the, the um menstrual cups they can just do it on their own you know, um, in the morning before you go to school and then you don't have to worry about it all day. It doesn't interrupt your, your number ones or your number twos at all. Um, it's salt with two A's. Let me show you the, uh, and then, you know, you get to carry it in this cute little thing. Nobody's going to know that you have a menstrual cup, <laughs> you know? So here you go. It's S double A L T. And it comes in the cutest packaging i don't have the packaging anymore but it's a cylinder it's a cylinder and it has a little window to show you what the uh, menstrual cup looks like it's so cute <laughs> 
<laughs> Still so cute. Let me clean off my um, swatches before I end up staining something. But yeah, that's my quick my quick review, but I will give you guys like a video on it. No, it didn't for me. You don't, you don't have to be self-conscious about it at all. And it, you know, when I was younger, I started off with tampons and there was a learning curve getting the angle right. Um, because this is a flexible um, silicone product, it tends to kind of do the work for you in terms of like the finding that comfortable angle. It's going to mold to your um, vaginal cavity. So, I mean, I was a believer after day one. The fact that like I was so confident up in here that I went to bed without anything on. <laughs> TMI, but I mean, we are talking about menstrual cups. So <laughs> I, I said, let me really test this out. I'm, I'm gonna just, you know, I'm gonna be nice and free. And I woke up the next morning, clean as a whistle. That too, J Chronicles. I had one day of discomfort, but not debilitating discomfort. It was just like kind of annoying, but it didn't feel anything like it does normally where I'm just like, ooh, girl, where's the mite all? Love me some crystal. She's hilarious. This peach is smacking. Yes, I have tried Honey Pot. I've tried their um, their wipes, their spray, like you know your deodorant, and um, I think there was like a cream, a pH cream or something like that. But I have tried their products. Yes, I think I'm gonna try their panty liners next. And you know I had to get into them after the whole controversy. I was like, let me buy 12. <laughs> and what were these people talking about? Let me get 16 of them things. We saw how they sold out. So there it is. All right, you guys. Clay to Poe coming up next week. I'm so excited. Got Clay to Poe coming up. We got a collaboration coming up that I'm seriously excited about. Uh, yes, ma'am. The cup, the cup holder is the pouch. Mm-hmm. So this is where you keep it, and um, before you use it and after you use it, you just want to boil it for five minutes to completely sanitize it. Mm. What shade in the um, clay de pearl? You're welcome. Oh, I know Crystal, and you're really good at that. You really hooked up that uh, Pat McGrath mothership. Um, good question. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be trying out shade B90. And that's what I was thinking. 70. 070. Um, if you all are the same undertone than 070 for ochre, I'm going to try B just to see, you know, just to see because I have a little bit of red undertone in my face. So I don't know. We'll see. It should be here either tomorrow or Saturday. So I have the concealers. Um, I'm, I decided to try both concealers and the foundation brush in addition to the foundation. So we will get a full review of those new releases. <laughs> okay, so I just did that. And now that my food is undoubtedly finished <laughs> in the oven. The Hourglass Palette Review is coming up later today. I'm going to go ahead and get some editing done before I start work. And I'll see you guys tonight for uh, Kelsey's Live. All right? Thank you for chit-chatting and all thatting with me. And I'll see you all later. Bye.